Hi and welcome back to this video. We're talking about Centrify support for container Linux. And uh, in the previous video, we talked about the key capabilities, including uh, AD integration, access control, privilege elevation, and multi-factor authentication. Now we're talking about um, what we call vault-based security, right? Um, the previous videos focus on the system-based security. Uh, that's typically more effective because you're protecting the systems at that level where the data exists. However, um, especially with uh, cloud deployments, you want flexibility to get secure access or access with shared accounts uh, to systems. So I have this CoreOS system right here. Um, and ultimately, there's several things that I can do. Um, I can have shared accounts stored here uh, if needed. Let's just say my core account if I have it tied with a password. Um, but typically, the, the best scenario is to provide secure access. So um, one of the benefits of Centrify is that I can deploy a Centrify connector out in AWS Azure or Google Cloud, and I don't have to worry about jump boxes. Um, for example, in this particular case, I could just uh, you know select or request an account. I have an account here. Um, once I uh, you know I'm able to use it, uh, notice that I'm able to get a web session here. Uh, for usability, I could also have a different type of experience. For example, if I do prefer my local client, in this case I've, I've selected PuTTY as my local client, I could use the, the PuTTY instead of the web session. Right? This works great if you have an on-premises um, uh, instance of uh, uh, CoreOS or a farm and uh, you know, uh, you want to be able to enjoy the usability of the local client. Um, I'm going to use the same the same cadence here, and uh, notice that in this case, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to be able to log in with PuTTY. If I want to duplicate the session here, I'm going to get access denied because it's a one-time use uh, capability. Another benefit is the ability to proctor, right? Um, if I'm an administrator here, I can go to um, the infrastructure overview. Right, and notice that I have a session running here. I can watch it or terminate it. So let's take a look and do a watch. Um, and what's going to happen here is that anything that I type here, for example, Docker images, um, I'll be able to, um, you know, uh, to uh, see on the proctored session. Right. If I wanted to, for example, terminate this particular party session here, I could just, uh, uh, you know. Uh, do a termination and it'll it'll kill the session for me. So it's already it's already disconnected, right? Another benefit of the secure session access is that uh, we can um, do session capture and replay, right? And this we can do at the client level, right? Uh, basically, host space security, but we could do it at the vault level as well. What this means is that if I need to reconstruct any session that has been going on. I can actually go ahead and do that. This is the the one that I just used when I run Docker images. Let's take a look at one that has more data, right? And uh, uh, let's see if this one has more data. I think probably one of the earlier ones does have more information, right? He's this one, right? So I can actually not only look at the you know uh, stenographer view here. Uh, I can, uh, you know, play and look at the context of exactly what happened, right? So this is great in scenarios where not only you need to be able to, um, you know, log what happened in the context of a session or a privileged session, but maybe you need to be able to reproduce this in the case of a suspected data breach or maybe a poorly handled change control session, right? So um, again. There's a lot of capabilities from a vault perspective that we provide, including the ability to, again, have this distributed um, uh, ability to, um, uh, you know, have connectors on premise or have it in, in different public clouds, um, you know, showing that we can support a very modern capability across the hybrid data center. In the next videos, we're going to explore some other capabilities that we provide for container Linux.